Hello everyone, this is day one of RPG A Day 2020. I realize that I am a day late, this says August, but it was already a few days into August by the time I found out about it, so I decided to move it to September. And with that said, it's once again writing prompts instead of um, full-on questions. And we start with beginning. Now, I realize it's a running theme that I open my interviews with the humble beginnings, but for this I want to talk about the beginning of this channel and the identity of Mildra. Putting aside the fact that Mildra was an alleged warlock name that I was given as a baby, even though when I spoke to actually practicing Wiccans I realized that a name like that um, doesn't exactly fit. For me... It always came down to this. I had always been frustrated where it, when I would see so many different, very interesting games around the corner, but no real attention was given to them. And whenever I'd find um, video reviews of RPGs, for the most part, the focus was D&D, um, World of Darkness, Warhammer... Established names. And while that's understandable to a degree, I've always been of the mindset to not limit myself to just that. When it comes to video games, I don't limit myself to just playing um, Final Fantasy and nothing else. I don't limit myself to playing um, Call of Duty or, play, or playing Company of Heroes and nothing else, and so on and so forth. Why should I do that with games? I don't do that with any other medium. And... I had two options at the time. I could either just keep on complaining about it, or I could actually do something about it. And I chose to do something about it. Now, I had had my channel since YouTube was a relatively young thing, but I was always too shy to actually make videos proper. I tried doing the commentary thing for a bit, didn't like how it turned out, so I deleted all those videos, and no, you will never see them. And ultimately... I, cho I chose to focus on um, the, the lesser known, the hidden gems, diamonds in the rough, as you will. Certainly reflective of my musical tastes, as well as my taste in other, in other medium. But the reason I did that is to show that if I'm able to do that with just a few searches and doing some digging around, then anybody can. There is no reason why anyone should just stick to just one game for all eternity. Stagnation never leads to improvements. And I've done 100 reviews in this, in this format since. In fact, it was only a few days ago that I celebrated my six-year anniversary with this channel. And that's a tradition I intend to continue. Even though I've talked about Dungeons and & Dragons and I've talked about other popular games, I don't want that to be the focus of my channel. I have no desire to have a, here's, here's what the most popular builds are kind, kind of thing. I consider this channel to be a showcase of what's out there. In the, in the same way that going to the Science Museum as a little kid was my glimpse as to, to what's out there in the world. I know that might seem a strange connection, but that's how I end up drawing it. Anyway, I'll see you all here next time tomorrow.